All right, what's up guys? So as the title says, I'm gonna show you guys how to make shiny eggs for brilliant, shiny egg files for brilliant diamond and shiny pearl. So whether this is for your own save file that you have edited or whether it's for submitting to a bot, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this here. Um, blue disclaimer, this guide may go out of date at any point in time. Um, if it does go out of date, I will make sure to upload a new guide or either remove this guide in its entirety or either edit it in some kind of way indicating that it is out of date. So first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need Pika Hex. Um, I highly recommend if you have Pika Hex, go ahead and have Pika Hex with Auto Legality Mod. If you don't have that, I have a link to a guide in the description. Use that, I mean, regardless of eggs, I mean, it's gonna make your life so much easier. So. Once you get PKX open, one of the first thing you want to do, just to make sure everything is straight and on the straight and narrow, go to options, go to settings, and you're going to make sure you do either brilliant diamond or shining pearl. Do that. Click X. And let's save changes. And there you go. Got a fresh save file and it is on shining pearl. So, or brilliant diamond, whichever one you want to do. But make sure you're one of those two games. So after that, you're going to go to tools data encounter database this is going to pop up and what you're going to do you know, go to species make sure you're pulling up something that can be in an egg you go to species i'm going to use bag on for the example for this vid and it will auto fill for you click it and up here click with that one time click it two times and make sure it has a check mark for egg and then click search and this is going to give you a lot of egg encounters for bag on so you're going to click it and view put and close out of this and it's up here as you see it's not an egg though so what you're going to do you're going to click egg and you see it turns it into it's an egg now all you got to do all you got to do and you see it says nursery couple two here all that stuff is important make sure that's there and now I'm going to get to showing you the different little edits you can do. So, um, as you know, Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pro does not have Square Shiny. So, you can still do it, but the animation won't show up in game. So, if you want Square Shiny, shift and click this little star here. And you can re-roll to make that go away or just click it to make regular Shiny. We're just going to stick with regular Shiny for now. And you can change the gender right here. Male, female species name there egg i mean obviously you can't give it exp gonna be level one you can change the nature here and let's go with jolly and as you see we got that illegal flag up there because obviously these have to match so next to stat nature you can just left click next to it and it'll match up or use the drag down menu and select it yourself held item obviously you can't do that um, ability you can go between these it might do that I mean but what you can do click that just to make sure it's still legal you got your hatch counter um hatch counter if you want it to hatch fast and make sure this is one do not set the hatch counter to zero um, in previous games I know in sword and shield if you set a hatch counter to zero what's going to happen is it is going to take forever to hatch so make sure that your hatch counter is one um, height and weight, honestly, I wouldn't really mess with that unless it says zero zero. Then you can kind of just fudge it a little bit and make your own height and weight within the range from zero to 255. And let's go to the met tab. Obviously, you got your origin game. You don't need to touch battle version. You don't need to touch met location, but you can edit the ball. All these balls that you see that are in like the kind of highlighted green, you can use all the ball, all the balls that are like with red surrounding them, you can't use. Super simple. Let's go with, let's go with a quick ball. Um, met level, don't need to change that. Met date, I mean, you can do that if you want to. Make the met date and the egg condition date match. Um, location, you can change that if you want to, but I suggest just leaving it as nursery couple too. Don't change it any further. Go to stats. Now this is super important. So in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we have this thing called Egg RNG, which means that certain IV combinations um, are strict to where 
if you change the IVs, then the PID has to change with it. However, you can do these edits. And again, this is the disclaimer, but it will make the egg illegal. However, this won't result, I can say in like 99.99% confidence, this will not result in any kind of bans because it is not illegality that is checked for. Same thing with like raid Pokemon when like you can turn off eggs or zero if you know what that is and you can make the IVs work. So as of now, we don't really have a, PKX doesn't really have the built-in calculator to do that. So again, you can you can change the IVs freely and not have to worry about it, but future PKX versions might flag it as illegal. And then you would have to do a lot more work to it. And so with the bots flag it as illegal, if the bots get updated to account for this, this um, egg RNG. But as of now, it doesn't account for it and the servers don't account for it, the online servers, I mean. So don't worry about it being something that has ban potential. So got these set. I mean, you don't need to touch Dynamax or any of this. Go to attack. So this is where it gets a little trickier. So what you can do for attacks, go to Cerebi. I've got it pulled up already. Cerebi bag on to get your egg moves. I'm going to scroll down a bit to that egg move section. You get rid of that advertisement. And all your egg moves are here. And these are pretty much like your universal egg moves. And these are your BDSP only egg moves. Just so you're kind of clear. So what we can do, pull PKX back up. And let's just give it some really good egg moves. And you're going to get this flagged up here to start off. I'm going to show you how to clear that up. And let's give it Dragon Dance. Let's give it Fire Fang. And yeah, let's go with Twister. And so you got this up here. You see these are all flagged as illegal. And that's because it doesn't match up with the relearn moves. So what you're going to do. Go inside the little box here, right here where you see I am, and left click. It's going to prompt you, apply suggested relearn moves, and hit yes. And boom. So just always double check that everything matches up in the exact same order. Got Hydro Pump 1, Dragon, Pulse, Dragon Dance 2, Fire Fang 3, Twister 4. And boom. Let's check this. It's still legal. Just every now and then, that'll pop up. Just whenever it pops up, click it. And make sure it's either going to be go back to a green check mark for it being legal or the red caution sign. And then this stuff here is all just kind of miscellaneous. Because this is an egg, this stuff right here is irrelevant. Do not worry about this at all. But you can go here and you can make some little edits. I mean, I usually do this to indicate like the IVs and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. I mean... Again, making eggs is super easy. I mean, it's a little different from Sword and Shield, I think. And again, with the egg RNG, this guide could get outdated very fast. It could get outdated tomorrow, and I will indicate whether or not this guide is outdated. But as of now, hey, you can make you some eggs. Drag it here, and we're good to go. And... That's all I got to say for this. If you guys have any questions, ask in the comments. Make sure to like, share, help your friends out with making eggs. And I will see you guys later.